Hi everybody, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and we are here today with the esteemed Dr. J.D. Corey. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> no, no pressure there, no pressure there. And uh, Dr. Corey has helped us along through the process of developing the new Fusion Anterior Matrix System. Well, Dr. Corey, one of the questions that we've had come in, um, again, a lot of questions coming in with the system, a lot of interest, which is very exciting is like on that number 10, that's a fairly deep restoration and, and we've had a couple folks ask, okay, how do I get this metal band in place and wedge it properly so that I'm, I'm getting a good seal, so I'm not getting any curricular fluid seepage in there, but yet I'm, I'm not blocking my access to be able to place the composite and cure it. Right, yeah, this is um, always a tricky situation when you have you know, a borderline or subgingival preparation on these anterior teeth, you know, you, you worry about that um, seal of the margin there. So, so would you ever like uh, use like a diode laser and trim some of the tissue back or? Yes. Um, okay. If, if you have a laser that works really well for something like this, um, I use, it's a totally smooth burr. It has no oh, diamonds. It okay. has no... Um, cutting surface at all it's it's just a smooth barrel and when you run that at a really high rpm with no water around that gum tissue it essentially cauterizes the gum tissue okay. the reason i like that is because i don't have to mess with another instrument or a laser now you know there's certain instances i want a laser but for for something like this where i just want to get rid of a little tissue and stop the bleeding to make sure i get a good restoration that's typically uh what i'll use if you look at these matrix bands they all have a, it's kind of tapered here. So one side is longer, this side. This side's gonna be shorter. And I like that because it helps with access. Obviously the shorter end helps with access. It doesn't block as much, but the larger end gives me a little bit of versatility to where I can choose to place that towards the gum tissue. Sure. If, if I have yeah. a restoration that kind of wraps around the tooth a little bit more. Same with the incisal edge. If I have one that wraps, you know, covers the incisal edge quite a bit, I'll place that longer side towards the incisal edge. But in this case, because of the shape of that prep where it's wrapping around towards the cingulum, I will place that larger end down towards the gingiva. You know, this is maybe a difference between a clear strip or a very strip. And this system is, I'm worried about the interproximal anatomy. I'm not so much worried about, I don't want my matrix band to extend all the way over to the middle of the tooth because right. I can shape that. I can see that. I can have control over that. But this, where my seal is interproximally, that interproximal anatomy that I can't get to with a burr, um, that's what I want to be sealed. And these curved wedges will help as well. So for something like this, in an ideal situation, I'm going to want to place that wedge where it curves around the tooth and has that larger part of the wedge putting pressure on this uh, part of the prep right so here. The, so the, yep. the cervical margin of exactly. the prep is held against the tooth. Yep. And it's, it's a little tricky with this uh, rubbery gingiva because it tends to want to push back more. There we go. But that's essentially what I would want it to look like and you can see here, I am I mean, I am fully sealed up oh, against yeah, that tooth Oh yeah, look at that. Now, yeah. I still have to be able to get an instrument in here to shape that part of the prep as it wraps around towards the lingual, but I can do that, you know? I can get that instrument in there, and what it'll look like as I'm restoring this, kind of guide that instrument right where I want it, and then once I get it in the right spot, I'm gonna pull it this way. Same thing as I get down towards the wedge I'm going to pull this way. Beautiful. And then that's going to lead to a nice curved restoration with minimal contouring. But the most important thing is all of this in here is going to be nice and sealed nice, yeah. and taken care of. No, no leakage. Nope. 